the majority of the last six years, we've talked to you about technology when we talk about heated jackets. We talk about our M12 red lithium batteries that work with over 70 tools. We talk about how they work together with carbon fiber heating elements in the chest and the back to essentially provide users one touch ability to add or subtract a layer via our heat technology. The thing that we've somewhat avoided until last year was the garment side of that story. How does Milwaukee make products that are consistent with the quality expectations uh, in terms of durability, versatility, and utility that all of our power tools, hand tools, and accessories give one up against? And 2016 for us is a huge year for that. We've completely redesigned the entire line, and it's honestly like pushing the reset button for us. It's about thinking about that guy and what he needs, understanding that different products have different requirements, but for each product, we need to make sure that we're mirroring best-in-class heat technology with best-in-class garment and construction technology. And it all starts with the heated jacket. This was the first product that we ever launched and has been around for going on seven years now. The 2016 model is all new, completely redesigned and recut, redeveloped from the ground up. It starts with the heat technology. Same performance as previous years. You've got the chest and the back heating with the addition of the pocket heat zones. Battery lasts for up to eight hours on low with the red lithium two amp hour battery. Part of the recut, we see things like a focus on mobility with free flex gussets underneath the arms, continued support of adjustable cuffs and waist, things that keep you comfortable, keep the water off you, help you survive the elements. Well, this product really differentiates itself, and if you touch the samples I have here, hopefully you can tell. We developed a new material called Tough Shell Stretch Polyester that delivers five times more life than our previous soft shells, and really is Milwaukee's way to redefine the soft shell for a user that puts it through more extreme conditions. Soft shell jackets in the outdoor industry are meant to be versatile. You go in and out of certain situations. On the job site, those situations are tougher. They require more resistance to abrasion. You don't want your jacket to fail if you rub up against a cinder block or are carrying a simple thing of two by fours. It's still not you're in the trenches gear, but there's a baseline level of durability that Milwaukee's gonna provide this year that no one else is providing. What does that mean? Here's a standard sanding block with 60 grit sandpaper. If we look at traditional soft shell, it's not that hard for me not to just abrade the material, but completely tear through it. Is that a little extreme? Absolutely. But is it unrealistic over a period of time? Not really. Then we move to tough shell. Will there still be some effects of abrasion? Yes, you're sanding your jacket. But the difference is... Its ability to resist abuse and continue to live on is significant. And that's important because we know that there are tough environments that our users are going to encounter, whether they intend to or not. And we don't want them to say, I can't wear this jacket that I just spent a bunch of money on because I don't think it's going to survive in the right environments. M12 heated jackets with Tough Shell from Milwaukee are essentially a complete redefinition of the product that we've put out in the past. And we're really excited to start on a new foot here and show that we're thinking about the garment just the same as we're thinking about the tech. And we can be best in class, not just in heated gear, but in the outdoor industry as well. Hoodies are about three season versatility. You can wear it by itself in the fall or the spring and then as a heated mid layer with uh, your favorite chill over the top, you have the ability again to touch a button and add or subtract a layer. Very easy for users to layer. Same heat technology that you expect, the chest in the back is the past, but what we really set out to find was why are people using this hoodie as their go-to hoodie? What about the garment doesn't stand up to the expectations that people have and what can we do better to make sure that for our user, this is the hoodie they want to pick up every day, whether they're bringing a battery with them or not. And it required a total redesign. So we, we shaped it up a little bit. We took out some of the bulk. We made it fit better so that the heat performance is better when you choose to use that function. We're continuing to use waffle weave thermal lining, slightly upgraded materials, so that when that heat is created, whether by the heating zones or by your body, it's gonna trap it in. That keeps you more comfortable than a standard single layer hoodie and allows you more versatility and use out of this garment. The big things though are somewhat subtle and it's focused on how tradespeople use hoodies, which might be a little different than your average consumer. Starting with the pockets. Number one failure mode for hoodies on the job is gonna be things that happen to the front kangaroo pockets. Either the corners rip off and the pocket's useless, or the edges start to fray, and when that happens, the pocket very quickly breaks down and becomes useless. All of our front pockets are gonna be lined with the same material that we make some of our rugged work gear with, and then double tacked on the corners to prevent both of those things from happening. 
The second piece looks at how hoodies are used on the job site. People wear the hoodies because, shocking, they want to use the hood. And if you're in a commercial construction environment, you've got to use that hood under a hard hat. What happens with hoodies today under a hard hat is they either billow out so they don't stay close to your ears, and that's kind of contrary to the point, or they come really far in front of your eyes so that you can't see the left and right and you have to spend a lot of time finding it back or your hat keeps falling off. We custom designed a three-piece hood to stay close to your ears and also to work back across your eyes. Both very simple things, but very important to the end user. And lastly, if you've ever had a heated hoodie, we finally moved the battery pocket to the outside. If you've ever tried to use a battery on one of these, it's been a kind of a miserable experience because you had to unzip the whole thing. If you had layers over the top, it meant those had to go too. Now we'll have quick and easy single zip access to the battery in the same way we do the jackets. 2016, we're really excited to launch Milwaukee's first product that doesn't have a battery come with it in the hooded work jacket. This product follows all the same material construction principles that our two heated products do that we've improved year over year to continue to drive differentiation versus the traditional competitive set and continue to improve on the things that we had last year. It starts with material. You guys heard ripstop a lot from us last year and the truth is that was material that we bought off the shelf. We loved what it did from a durability perspective. What it didn't do was provide the mobility that people expected. It was very bulky and the colder it got the more crinkly it got. It was a big dissatisfier for people and we knew that even though it's only been out for a year we need to go figure out how to solve that problem. Just like with Tough Shell we found a way to custom develop a material that's exclusive to Milwaukee to solve that need. And what we have with gridiron ripstop polyester is a material that not only reduces the weight of a standard traditional uh, carbon material and our previous material but outlasts 12 ounce cotton duck by three times.